When it comes to pronouns, there is a lot of debate around language, parts of speech, and how words are introduced into common vernacular. Are they them singular pronouns correct? They are. Aren't they something brand new? Nope. They've been in use since at least the 13th century. Neopronouns are used to be neutral pronouns. And some people try to put they them pronouns into this category as well. For other sets of pronouns, an early reference to different pronouns being used for a third alien sex was made in David Lindsay's 1920 novel, A Voyage to Arcturus. In this novel, the alien race used the pronoun a. This pronoun has also been used in earlier works, like John of Trevesa in the 14th century. One of the other early examples of neopronouns is thon, a set of neutral pronouns created by Charles Crosby Converse in 1858. This set of pronouns was created as a contraction of that one. Despite being over 160 years old, there are some people that still use this set of pronouns. 18 people responding in the 2019 gender census, which I'll link below. The pronoun first appeared in the Merriam-Webster dictionary in 1934. So that can show you just how old some of these neo-pronouns actually are. Thon was dropped, however, due to lack of use after 1961. Others, like Co, Co's, Co Self, and Z, Zer, Zer, were coined in the 70s. It feels like the 70s were a huge time for neo pronouns, at least from my research. Now, I'll admit that I have been using the term neo pronouns to describe all these sets of pronouns throughout the years. The term neo pronoun wasn't coined until 2010, however. Especially in recent years, a lot of neopronouns, like noun self pronouns, be, bees, be self, for example, and emoji pronoun sets, which I'll leave on the screen, have been coined through sites like Tumblr. Tumblr has done a lot of work in the neopronoun area, so to speak. A lot of neopronouns these days are used primarily or even purely online. This from what I've seen discussed, is due to pushback and sometimes an inability to pronounce them aloud, usually with emoji pronouns this is seen. I myself sometimes use neopronouns online, however, I'm uncomfortable with using them in day-to-day -day life due to the reception of my they-them pronouns with the people around me. So I can understand the hesitance to use another set of pronouns offline. There can be a lot of controversy in the use of neopronouns. From what I've seen, it amounts to transphobic rhetoric about not being taken seriously due to neopronouns not being common and thus being seen in a less serious light. They are also often quoted to be confusing, which is often seen with the initial stage of changing to any pronoun set. Unfortunately, this doubt in transphobia is not only coming from transphobes outside the LGBTQIA community, it is also coming from some transgender people. Yes, transgender people can, in fact, be transphobic or neophobic or however you wish to say. They can be against people in their very own community. This is really frustrating and downright upsetting to see and experience. Neopronouns have been around for literal centuries, evolving as time has gone by. They should be more accepted. They aren't necessarily common, which does make it potentially difficult to normalize particular sets of neopronouns, or neos, as they're called within the community. If you see someone using neopronouns, try to respect them. Use the pronouns as you would any other. Ask questions if you aren't sure. Practice it if you aren't confident. I'll leave some tools below which I found really helpful to learn about and practice using different sets of neopronouns. This is just a video with a few examples of neopronouns and a sort of crash course of their history. Just because a person uses one set of pronouns or another, that does not necessarily correlate to the person's gender. I want to make this clear. So, as always, try not to assume and take any corrections to heart, not to offense. People will use the pronouns that they feel the most comfortable using. Just like with any identity, it can be hard to come out, and it's not the easiest to correct people, especially if there's fear of negative reaction. Be kind, and keep an open mind. If you have any topics about LGBTQIA+, or mental health stuff you'd like to see covered, please let me know down in the comments. As always, my resources are in the description. Thanks for watching the OCDNB. Stay safe out there.